This is a tutorial for Dex Science at 6.3. Hello and welcome to another video. In this video, we are going to apply the concept of elasticity to build what we are going to call an elastic balance. This balance will help us to measure the weight of materials and also help us measure how much force you are applying to lift a particular weight. After we are done with this, we are going to use this elastic balance we build in another activity in the set. But for now, we are just going to build the balance by applying our knowledge on elasticity, which we learned in the 4.3 set. The materials that we're going to use for this activity can be found in the compartment B6.4.3.2. So in order to build this elastic balance, we are going to need a few plastic parts, some rubber band, and some metal rings. You're also going to need some nylon ropes. And using these, we are going to apply our understanding of the concepts of elasticity to build an elastic balance. Okay, so in order to build our elastic balance, you're going to need this plastic piece here. This piece is going to serve as the main body for the balance. The other thing we are going to need is this 3D printer part, which will serve as the dial to help us indicate the weight of whatever object we are measuring. Okay? Then we're also going to need these elastic bands which will provide the resistance that we need in order to make our measurement. This is going to serve as a stopper to allow us hang the object we are trying to measure onto the balance. So this and this metal ring here together will help provide a way for us to hang whatever object we are trying to measure the weight of. The nylon ropes here will serve as the handle for us to hold and also a way to hold the elastic bands in place. So let's put these items together to build our elastic balance. The first thing that we are going to do is to make sure that the part of our elastic balance that will provide the resistance needed to measure the weight is in place. And that is going to be our rubber bands. So I'm going to cut them. Again, be very careful so that you don't cut through any of the bands. Now we are going to need four bands in order to build enough resistance. And so the bands will provide the resistance needed to help us do our measurements. So you need to note that the body for our elastic balance has this line here, and then this line is not perfectly in the center. This side is slightly bigger than this side. And then this side is where our dial is going to be pointing. And so the dial will be in this direction, pointing towards the part that is larger, okay? So once we have our dial here, the next thing we're going to do is to turn it upside down this way. And then, you're going to put our rope through it. Okay, so we come through here, and then we go back through here. So once you have your dial in place, once you have it in place, it should look something like this. 
can move up or down with the rope attached to it. And make sure that as much as possible, your rope is, on, is the same length on both ends, as much as you possibly can, okay? This will be important later. Okay, now that we are done with this, the next thing we are going to do is to use our rubber bands. Like we said earlier, these rubber bands will provide the tension and the resistance that we need in order to measure whatever object it is we want to know the weight of. We are going to need three of them. We're going to use three of the rubber bands to build our setup. Okay, so we're going to take three. We're going to push it through like this. Okay, we're going to have something like this. And then we're going to fold it up like this. Okay, so you have something that looks like this. Okay, once you're done with that, the next step is very simple. You take the rope and then you put it through your rubber bands like this. Okay, and then you draw the rope to make sure that your dial is at the end of this passage right here. So you, you pull the rope until your dial is at the end point here. Okay, it's very important. Now once that has been done, your next step is to tie this end of the rope. Okay, so we're going to tie this end of the rope using a very simple knot. We're going to go two. One, this is one. So we're going to go one. We're going to go two. Make sure it's nice and tight. Okay, and then we are going to go three, third one. Okay, now when you are done with this, you end up with something that looks like this. Okay, so your dial is here, you have your rubber band here. So when you put the weight here and then the weight pulls on the rope, it's going to pull on the rubber band and then your dial is going to move depending on the weight of the object you're trying to measure. Okay? Very, very simple. Always make sure that your rope is nice and tight. The next step you're going to take is to take your metal ring and then you're going to place it through Okay, you place the rope through like this, and then you move it until it's safe and secure. Okay, so this metal ring will allow us to hang whatever weight we are trying to measure. Okay, now after you've done that, the next step might be a little tricky to do. Get some help from someone else if you can, but you can pull it bend it this way and hold it and then take your stopper here and then place it through like this okay so you end up with something that looks like this okay so you have your metal ring here holding the rope the rope comes all the way here holding the rubber band and everything connects to the dial. Okay. And so when you put your weight here and the weight pulls down, you see the dial is moving. So we can go ahead. So just like we learned in 4.3, the rubber band can store energy. And so it can stretch and then there will be a lot of tension in it. 
And that tension is what is providing the resistance for us to be able to measure the weight. And so if you put something that is heavy, it's going to pull on the rubber band and then the dial is going to move down. Okay, so the heavier the object, the, the farther the dial is going to pull down. And so once we calibrate different kind, using different kinds of weight here, we can measure the weight of whatever we are hanging on this here by looking at how far the dial moves down. Okay, so we are using that tension in the rubber band to enable us measure the weight of whatever object we attach to this balance here. And this is not an, a very accurate balance because over time the rubber band is going to get weak. However, it will do just fine for our purpose. But it's also a very nice way to help us apply what we've learned under elasticity in 4.3. So we have another piece of rope here. And to add this handle is really simple. Okay? We are going to place, we are going to place the rope through here. Okay. And then I want to here. And then once we are back here, there are two ways we can do this. Tie the two together or just simply tie a knot for each of them. I usually like to just tie a knot for each of them. So once you are done tying everything at the back here, at the front you have a handle that you can use to hold the balance or hang it somewhere. Okay, so now you have your complete system ready to go. So there you have it. Using our understanding of elasticity, we've created this simple measuring device that will enable us to measure the weight of different objects. Our dial is going to move based on how much weight we have attached to our metal ring here. Now we're going to use this device in our next activity where we're going to learn about pulleys because the force that we apply to lift any object can also be measured using this simple measuring device. And so using the pulley, we are going to learn how a simple pulley system can reduce how much force we need to apply in order to lift any given weight. And then this measuring device will help us to measure how much force we are applying in order to lift a given weight. The pulley video will indeed be an exciting one. This has been another exciting activity using materials from the DEX Science Set 6.3. See you in the next video.